the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody, God bless you. Hey, I hope you had a great, hope you had a great week, a weekend, and I hope you're going to have a great week coming up. And I just want to continue to, we're going to continue to focus on uh, teaching the Word of God and, and making sure that we don't get into or trap into uh, the steal, kill, and destroy that the system always wants us to do, you know? Uh, we need to sit there and focus on what God wants us to do, what the Word of God has asked us to do. Because we, you know, religion has really, and, and the people have really jacked up uh, and manipulated the, the scriptures uh, and, and deceived many of us to think that we're doing the right thing by doing, thinking us to do the right thing even though we do the wrong thing. Opposing the fact is that we need to do the right thing by following what the Word of God tells us to do, to do His will. I sit there and had this um, title today because I, I will sit there instead of calling somebody, just because somebody calls us a Christian, I, I will sit there and say that the non believers based on the fruits that they bear. And the title I have a non believer is using Christianity as a cover to steal, kill, and destroy. And I think a lot of people have been manipulated to steal, kill, and destroy because of their unwillingness to just read the word of God for themselves. You are New Testament saints. You're not Old Testament saints. So you are supposed to follow Christ. And the question is, all the expectations and all the colonization and all the lynching and all the discrimination and all the hate crime and all that other stuff, are those things based on non-believers using Christianity as a cover? A non-believer is simple as this. You can profess yourself as a Christ, as a Christian, but if you're not doing the, what the Word of God says, what the Word of God, not the opinion of others, but what the Word of God says, then it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can call yourself a Christian all day long. But a tree is known by its fruit. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're talking about the history. And we're going to use more history as, as well. We're going to use modern day. We even talked about the, the shooting in, in uh, Jacksonville uh, on the 26th of August. This day is the 27th. The, the 26th of August is a, a man went into, a young man too. That means he was taught. He was, he was molded to, to be able to hate people just because of the mere color of their skin. To steal, kill, and destroy and I guarantee you, I bet you if you take his, 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 uh, his when they come out with his background, I guarantee you he will call himself a Christian or been raised in a Christian family. Because I, a lot of people go to church, but they don't do the will of the Father. They don't do the will of Christ. They don't follow Christ. His commandments love one another. They don't want to be led by the Holy Spirit. They want to be led by their flesh. And we need to recognize that we just asking people, if you're not going to be a Christian, stop calling yourself a Christian. If you're not going to be a Christian, stop trying to close yourself as a Christian. And then do bad things. Because the only Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Christ comes to give life and life more abundantly. We're supposed to be ambassadors of Christ. And that's one of the things I wanted to be able to share with you on the, the, the foundational scripture for this study today is the fact that, that you are supposed to be ambassador for Christ. That's who you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be reconciling the world together, not trying to turn them apart. Not sitting there trying to, 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 to manipulate people and exploit people. Do what the Word says, amen? Look at the scripture in 2 Corinthians 5, 14. For the love of Christ constrained us because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. And that we die for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. 
Wherefore, henceforth know we no man after flesh, yo though we have known Christ after flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of God, who has reconciled us to himself by Yeshua, Jesus Christ, and has given us a ministry of reconciliation. And to wit that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses unto them, and has given and have committed to us the word of reconciliation. That's why you can't have Christian nationalists, because that means you're trying to sit there and think that we stop somewhere. No, well, we, we're supposed to reconcile the world unto God. We're supposed to be ambassador of Christ. He said, verse 20, so now then we are ambassadors for Christ as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ stand be reconciled unto God. For he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteous of God in him. Those are scriptures used when we use some historical data, we're going to use some historical pictures of hate and all that other stuff that is not supposed to be in the fruits of a Christian. You're supposed to love one another, bear good fruit, amen? Hey, I hope you enjoy the session. I will break these up in A, B, C, and D. Don't forget to subscribe if you get a chance. Leave a comment if you can. But just remember, Yeshua, Jesus is Lord, and we do what he wants us to do. Hope you enjoyed this session coming up, and uh, I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go. It's important for us to, to recognize if you're going to be a Christian, bear good fruit. What fruit are we talking about? Five in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. Now, the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Be a Christian. Be a believer. Uh, I re that's all I want to encourage you ever to be. Be a believer. Look at this. I, I put this scripture in here because I, I, this is the, at the beginning of the scripture and this will be at the end of the, of the slide presentation. For the love of Christ. All right, Christian nationalists, right? We can all be Christian nationalists if we do it based on his will, right? That's all I'm trying to say. It's not, it's not the wording, it's not the wording, it's the deeds, it's the actions that makes a difference. It that makes us who we are. For look at this in 2 Corinthians 5.14, please, as if, um, so those of you who wish to be Christian nationalists, those who wish to be Christians, those who wish to be believers, those who wish to receive salvation, listen to the word of God, read the word of God. I put these slides up here for you to read. My friend was sitting there showing that he said that most people don't even read the gospel. Well, that's okay. Look, when platform ministries, when you teach, you read, show the scriptures. And tell people, go do likewise on the scriptures. It says right here, for the love of Christ constraining us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, all, see, it doesn't matter whether you when you came, when you're black or white or any other color, when you're Jew or Gentile, it doesn't matter. He said that if one died for all, then we then were all then were all dead. And that he died for all, that we which live should not henceforth live unto themselves. That's what we're talking about, about a Christian nationalist. <laughs> Come on now. We don't live unto ourselves. He said, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore, of his for, know we no man after the flesh. That's why you can't be a, a, a white Christian nationalist or black Christian nationalist or a nationalist is that we know no man after the flesh, yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And all things are of God 
who has reconciled himself by Jesus, Yeshua Christ, and has given us, look, a ministry of reconciliation. That's why you got to watch out for the term of, 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 of uh, uh, something called nationalists. We have a ministry of, our ministry is called a ministry of reconciliation. Our ministry is to call the whole world to come into the knowledge and the truth of the gospel, the good news of the salvation of Christ. See, that's why I'm trying to say you got to watch out for the word Christian nationalist because it's, if it's meaning to exclude, opposed to reconcile, <laughs> That's what, I mean, that's what the gospel is called. That's what the, we just read, right? We are supposed to be reconciling everyone unto God. Not by force, by love. Christ didn't come by force, did he? Not by the scriptures I read. We're, 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 we're reconciling the world unto God. Not by force, but by love. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Man, the scriptures speak for itself of who we are. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Ooh. <laughs> Look at this. Next scripture. Next slide of me. Because I know, let me read this one with tribe again. Is that, that in all things are of God, all things. Whether, whether they believe it or not believe it, all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Christ, by Yeshua, by Jesus Christ, and has given us a ministry of reconciliation. You are a minister of reconciliation, so therefore you can't be something called a nationalist if you're not reconciling the world, if you're not calling a minister of reconciliation. Reconciliation is to come together and become one body. <laughs> Woo, look at this, 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 look at this. <laughs> he said, to wit, that God was in Christ, the anointed, reconciling the world. Did, did, did you catch what I'm going to say? The reconciling the world unto himself. Reconciling the world unto himself. So therefore, I don't know how we can be a nationalist. We got to be a a a world. This is a world ministry. <laughs> it, it's not a matter about what the world wants to do. It's a matter of what God wants to do. And the fact is that we're called to reconcile the world unto Himself through Christ, not imputing their trespasses. Look at that. Unto them. And have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us. We pray in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled unto God. For he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin that we might be made the righteous of God in him. <laughs> Man, did you, did, you, did you check the scriptures? Did you check what the scripture was saying? We are ambassadors. You, you come into the gospel, you are an ambassador and you represent the gospel. You represent what the word says not represent what people say, what political party says, what, what countries say. You, you, you reconciling the world unto God and you letting them know what the word of God is saying. Not that you, you see what I'm saying is, man has this tendency to, to believe and come up with false treaties and, and even false laws and everything else to try to hide bad behavior. I'm sitting there saying this, we as believers, regardless of what the world system does, because that's what you gotta separate yourself from, and say, I am an ambassador for Christ. 
I'm an ambassador of God. Huh? Because, you know, like I said, 2 Corinthians 5, 20 said, Now then we are ambassadors for Christ. Ambassadors mean you stay within the policy and the doctrine of the gospel. That's why I'm trying to sit there and say, see, no, no, no preacher or ministry is going to, to say that these words are wrong. <laughs> so therefore, we see people that will actually want to hurt people and manipulate people. We got to sit there and say, look, wait a minute. That's what, what does the word say? That's, that's all you need to be able to focus on is what does the word say? If you are believing in Christ, what does the word say? If you want to sit there and become part of the body of Christ, what does the word say? We read in some of the history of last week and so forth, where, it, where you had uh, uh, ministries that, that advocated violence and, 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 and doing bad things to people. But that's not what the word says. We need to be represented with the Word say. If you come into the body of Christ, then we want you to study the Word so that you can do the will of the Word, do the Word itself, live the Word, live the Gospel. Because we too many people have done the bad things, and we're going to come to some of this stuff on the slide, where people have done historically massacres and hit uh, <laughs> exploitation. Not dealing with the Word. What does the Word say? Man, I need the title one day called, What Does the Word Say? We want to go back and say, what, what, what would Christ do? What did Christ do? What did God do? What is his will? Okay? If, if, if we sit there and, and focus on that, if we sit there and understand that we live by the, the word, because if you, if you read the word for yourself, you don't need no interpretation. And the word speaks for itself. Those scriptures I just read, they speak for themselves. I don't need, you don't need to say, well, I mean, I'm going to interpret it. If, if you interpret it going contrary to what you're reading, then you know that your interpretation is wrong. That's, that's the truth of the matter, right? Because look at it. How, how do you, how do you, how do you uh, recognize this scripture and don't understand that he's Lord, not ministry, not people, not the world system, but his kingdom. Because it says, Romans 10, 10, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, the Lord Yeshua. What does that mean, being Lord? It means that he is the one that you are following, that you are abiding by his will and his doctrine, if you call him Lord. See, some people have sit there and said, well, uh, I'm a Methodist, I'm a Baptist, and say, those are ministries. And if those ministries don't profess Christ as Lord, and then if Christ is Lord, then you do what he tells you to do, not what people tell you to do. If somebody sit there and say, well, you 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 confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, then go kill that person, go manipulate that person, go discriminate against that person. You need to sit there and say, that's not his will. That means he's not. I'm following you, Lord, opposed to him, but he's Lord I'm supposed to follow. That if thou shalt confess that mouth, the Lord Jesus. We got to let him be Lord of our life. We got to take ourselves off the throne of our life. We got to take Satan off the throne of our life. We got to take people off the throne of our life. And we got to allow him to be Lord. It says, 10, I read again, Romans 10 and 10, I confess that mouth, the Lord, like I just said, Jesus, Yeshua, and shall believe in thy heart, your spirit, that God is raised from the dead, thou shalt be saved. I like the fact is that the same power that he used to raise Christ from the dead is the same power that changes me. The same power that saved me. I know I can't save myself. And those who don't believe it, I understand, you, you, you don't think nobody needs to save you. But you, you need to be saved. And you'll find out. I know you will. That's what, the, that's what planting the word of God is all about, isn't it? For with the heart man believes in righteousness, with the mouth confession is made in salvation. I'm sitting there saying this so it's important for you to recognize who's Lord in your life. And, and obviously, if you did the steal, the kill, and destroy, 
Christ is not Lord in your life, your, 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 your system, your government, or whatever you want to call yourself following, that's Lord. But Christ is not Lord. But you call yourself a Christian. You can't call yourself a Christian if you're not letting Christ be Lord. If you're not letting Christ be the one that you follow, that you worship. If you're not allowing the leader of the Holy Spirit. If you're not trying to do the will of the Father in heaven, not the Father on this earth, but the Father in heaven. If you're not trying to do that, then you are not allowing yourself to be a, you, you can't be a believer and do other things and keep doing them. And manipulating, lying, stealing, killing, destroying. Come on, saints. We're going to go through some slides and sit there and show you all these type of junk that, that, that people have done. And they're going to still call themselves professing themselves a Christian. I'm trying to tell you if, you, if you don't want to be a Christian, that's your choice. That is your choice. Because God gives you that choice. But stop calling yourself a Christian and still doing the bad things and atrocity that you're doing. Stop it. Stop discriminating against people. Stop manipulating people. Stop you. I'm talking about you as a believer because non-believers do what non-believers do. But you're supposed to be a believer. You're supposed to let him be Lord. And yes, you're going to make mistakes, but that's why you got to go boldly to the throne of grace. That's what the throne of grace is for. But not to live and practice bad behavior, but to sit there and live, practice righteousness through the word of God, being led by the Holy Spirit, and understand your salvation is based on him. Oh, read the scriptures for yourself. Stop sitting there and depending on somebody else to do that. Stop doing that. Read the scriptures. Read New Testament first for yourself. Understand who Christ is. You need to know him and the power of his resurrection. You need to know him. Oh, please, ministries out there. Stop trying to divert people from listening and reading the scriptures. Let them read the scriptures and say, I need to be who Christ wants me to be. Not what you want me to be. I don't need to be a white nationalist or black nationalist. I don't need to be a white supremacist or black supremacist or anything else. I need to be a child of God and I only can get that through Christ. And I need to be able to follow his will. That will be done. And that's why you want to do the Lord's Prayer daily. That will be done. Because I don't want you, I'm, I'm, you know, I don't want somebody who thinks that they are a believer, who think they are believers because of what somebody else is telling you. I want you to know that you are a believer by what the Word tells you. Ministries, please teach the people and say, look, I don't need you to just come to this ministry and hear these sessions just for the check of box. You need to walk out of ministry sessions. You need to walk out of prayer. You need to walk out of reading the scriptures to be doing those things in the scriptures. And you're not Hebrews, so you're not going into a promised land. You're going into a kingdom of God. And you operate within the kingdom of God. I don't want you to sit there and find yourself trapped in the fact that, that you're not a Christian because you've been deceived by other people. Jesus, Yeshua is the only way, John 14 says. You, 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 when you go into these nationalism and these other skin color things, you, you, you're missing the boat. Look at the scripture right here, Mark, Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. That's why we say do this in your Lord's prayer so you can do his will. 
Many, he said in verse 22, will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? In thy name cast out devil. In thy name done many wonderful works. And then 23 says, then I will profess unto them. This is Christ talking. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that workest or work iniquity. I never knew you. See, a lot of cases, folks, that we want to be known by our ministries and known by our organization that we're part of. But if we don't know him and he doesn't know you because you work in equity, then you're living in vain. Hey, everybody, God bless you. I hope you enjoyed that session. I hope you will stick around and listen to the other sessions. We're trying to bring them out daily. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we're sending, sending out to the people on my distribution list on the, on the uh, text. But the rest of you will just, we'll see it on YouTube as well as on uh, Facebook. Uh, but take a look at this study. Chew on it. Yes, we have a history. We, as believers, but we call ourselves believers. And there's people who pretend to be believers have done some very bad things and manipulated a lot of people. A lot of people didn't know. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, some of the slides I gave before all go back to the first century uh, CE of, of being a, a militaristic type of organization. And, and, and all that stuff has been passed on from generation to generation. And, and the sad thing about it, most believers, you don't read the scriptures. You listen to somebody else and, and you sit there and make your decision based on what somebody else is saying instead of reading the scripture for yourself. I'm encouraging you, read the New Testament. You're most, if you call yourself a Christian, you need to read the New Testament to see what Christ taught you. You, could, you want to be conforming to the image of His Son, God's Son, Christ. Amen. You, that's what the scripture said. Let's read the scriptures. Let's stop sitting there and let other people tell us what the scripture say. And then we are doing bad things and we know we're doing bad things. We know we're doing a steal, a kill, and destroy. We know that. So why don't we learn to do what the Father taught us to do through Christ? Let them learn to be led by the Holy Spirit. That's what the, this session is all about. It's, it's, it's not about banning or hiding history. It's about repenting. Because that's what we can do. We can repent. We can let our light shine. And I, and I encourage us, all of us, to do that. Let our light shine. Let us do the thing that is acceptable to the will of the Father. Let's do the Lord's Prayer every day so we can remind ourselves of doing His will and not our own will. Amen? God loves you. He really does. And it doesn't whether you're a believer or not a believer. He wants you to be reconciled to him. Not to people, not to ministries, but to him. And that's all I encourage you to do too. Reconcile yourself to God. Get that spirituality of being who he wants you to be instead of what the world wants you to be. Stop being manipulated. And start understanding the truth. For the truth will make you free. The truth will set you free. The truth matters. You know we see in our news media that everything else lies. We saw the sit there and the killing in, in Jacksonville. Once again, a senseless killing. Based on what they was told. And, and, and the person killed himself. Even the scripture is like, well, what are you doing? Now that person now has to go before God. We'll go, just like all the rest of us as well. And I just hope we don't sit there and say, he's looking for his advocate, but he never knew his advocate. He only knew he, and then he died. Let's not be the same way, okay? All right, God bless you. Uh, I, like I said, I hope you enjoy this segment, and the encouragement is to continue to study. Read the Word of God. Read the New Testament for yourself. And let Christ be the example. It is all about love. It's all about mercy. It's all about grace. Amen. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments. And I'll see you when I see you. God bless you. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is for the day.
Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.